and thank you everybody for taking the time for today. Uh, MS in uh, clinical research. Um, today I'm going to give you an introduction to the clinical laboratory and MS in the clinical labs. The analytical needs of clinical labs, like the ones you're working in, typical workflow in LCMS assays in the clinical laboratory, and then how to incorporate the time of flight or TOF in the clinical labs. And then finally, showing some recent exciting data from a vitamin D uh, assay in human soon. So the clinical lab provide test results to physicians for diagnostic and prognostic purposes. They are related, they are regulated by uh, federal and local agencies in order to report clinical results like by the College of, uh, regulated by the College of American Pathologists, for example. These labs are required to validate methods to gain accreditation uh, you, uh, used in uh, CLIA methods and receive reimbursement for testing, for example, from centers of Medicare and Medicaid services. Types of clinical labs are CROs, uh, public and private hospitals and uh, universities, clinical laboratory networks like uh, LabCorp and Quest Diagnostics, and pharmaceutical companies. The staff are usually managed by a PhD uh, registered with a national body, usually staffed by medical technologists and clinical scientists, and the lab tests therefore need to be as push button as possible. The majority of the staff are used to maintaining routine operations. So Clinical labs, as you know, they tend to be a tight-knit community influenced by the technology of their peers. Uh, you are accustomed to homebrew tests as well as FDA, CE, IVD validated tests. Now, homebrew tests are not regulated, cleared by the FDA or CE, IVD marked. Homebrew tests need to be validated by the lab via CLIA in order to be able to report results, whereas FDA, CE, IVD validated tests fall on the, on the onus of the manufacturer, so there's less burden of the clinical labs, like for example, ISO 13485. You guys are concerned about service and service response time and good software, and interested in reagent rental plans to avoid capital investments. Therefore, physicians use lab results for treatment of patients. Therefore, data needs to show good linearity over the clinical relevant range, precision within run and between run percent CVs, accuracy, recovery from spike samples, traceability to standard reference materials and materials linked to certified methods and materials like NIST and SRM, and possible compa comparisons to known existing methodologies like immunoassay and technologies like MSMS. Your clinical lab will most likely consider work with a system that can prove to be easily validated based on uh, proof of concept data and quality results with no ambiguity. Often require reliable technical support to, to avoid the, to maximize uptime and avoid any downtime. What kind of sample types? Well, we have blood, serum, plasma, urine, are all types of clinical samples that we could be expected to be run in, in these types of assays. Uh, the types of tests that could be run in general, general and routine like glucose or endocr endocrinology or testosterone, uh, vitamins like 25-hydroxy vitamin D we'll show an example of later on, and immun immunological for antibodies, pharmacological like uh, therapeutic drug monitoring, and uh, toxicological like uh, drugs of abuse, for example. And the test requirements, they need to be robust easy to use, accurate and precise. Multiplexing is advantageous. Analyt panels monitoring for certain diseases like uh, CAH and cortisols or 17 OHP and testosterone, as well as the ability to reach low levels, uh, uh, for example, like testosterone in women and children are, been, are, are, are required. You clinical labs need fast turnaround time for analysis ease of use, automation of the sample, so sample prep, automation, and also data analysis automation, minimum downtime and technical support, but most importantly, accurate results. So let's take a look at what the immunoassay offers. Immunoassays are they're easy to implement in the lab, minimum sample prep required, and they're often FDA approved, and they're automated. However, 
you, there's quite high levels of cross-reactivity and are inaccurate and cannot be multiplexed. So LCMS or LCMSMS assays, they require some know-how to set up these assays, especially if they're homebrew. Uh, some sample prep is required, but they can be automated and are very accurate and precise, as well as they can be multiplexed for assays and analyte panels. So let's look at a typical LCMS assay workflow. We have uh, some sort of samples that come in a tube, and then you'll need to do some sort of protein precipitation or liquid-liquid extraction. Uh, this could be filtered, uh, decanted into a new plate to be analyzed immediately, or drying and derivatization and reconstitution if needed for then being injected and then uh, uh, your data analysis. So calibrators and controls should be similar matrix as the test samples, i.e. Uh, stripped human serum. Concentrations should be bracketing the clinical relevant range. And controls monitoring the quality of the run. Value assessments linked to certified reference materials. Most labs formulate own calibrators and controls, especially in homebrew assays. Internal standards could be heavily labeled versions of the analyte and used for signal normal normalization. This is a must in clinical LCMS assays. So let's look at the clinical LCMS clinical workflow overview. You have your samples that you receive, uh, some sort of autom uh, automated sample handling and sample prep associated with that, then an injection into your uh, UHPLC and MS system, then your data analysis and results. And here we see the Perkinomer solution, a complete holistic solution where your samples are, are, are handled uh, automatically by our Janus with our uh, 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 kits uh, and then automatically injected into the UHPLC system and our Axion TOF to be analyzed then and the data results uh, outputted. So it's a complete holistic solution. The technical aspects of our uh, Axion TOF system solution uh, ex show excellent mass accuracy and resolution, uh, giving results analogous to MSMS, as well as providing richer data. Our new field-free APCI and ESI sources can reach low detection limits required in the clinical labs. And the Axion TOF has a broad range of clinical applications, including toxicological applications like drugs of abuse and therapeutic drug monitoring that is very appropriate to be used for. And is a complete holistic system solution requiring minimal input from the user. So let's look at some preliminary data that we have uh, from our uh, Axion 2 TOF from vitamin D in blood. So we all know that vitamin D is very important and is a very interesting uh, topic nowadays. And there are some deficiencies like rickets and osteomalacia with when you have low levels of vitamin D in your blood, but also quite a few, uh, quite a few other sicknesses and uh, insufficiencies that are important to monitor. Now, vitamin D is a very nonpolar, uh, highly organic, uh, a very nonpolar molecule that requires high organic um, uh, gradients in reverse phase, right? Uh, Ionize is best in APCI, which works even better now because of our patented field-free APCI source. And our solution for vitamin D shows a completely automated, is completely automated with our Janus and with our Perkinomer kits and the plates with uh, coupled with our plates for sample prep coupled to the LC TOF that we have. You just put in your sample tubes into the Janus and it creates a new plate ready for you to run into the LCMS top. And here's how we would do it, just with 100 microliters of serum. And uh, sometime later, you have your plate ready to be analyzed automatically in your LCMS. The instrument we used here is the TOF with the field-free APCI and our superficially porous particle columns with a high organic gradient. And then we can see that the results uh, from calibrators and test samples gives nice response from both low and high concentration in sample matrix.
And here we see the results from uh, in real blood sample matrix, giving good response time and good accuracy uh, uh, for vitamin D. So you know that clinical labs are moving more towards LCMS-based testing. LCTOF with reagents and automation can be implemented in typical LCMS-based clinical workflows with little or no input required by the end user. And our preliminary data uh, for quantitation of 25-hydroxy vitamin D in serum shows good results with the Axiom 2 top. Uh, I'd just like to thank you for your time 